Alright everyone, welcome back to some more of the gaming news. Today guys, we have some of that Dying Light gameplay on the PlayStation 4. Nothing special, just gameplay guys. This is for you while I go over some of the news, some of the stuff, some of the big stuff. So first off, we got Destiny. Then we got actually Battlefield Hardline and... I think that's really it. Not much news today, guys. Not much of anything today, but I am getting better, guys, so just to let you know. Um, videos will start back up again. I am going to try to go for that Necrochasm. I've got some bad news about it, but I'm still going to try to get it for you, guys. I'm going to try to make those videos for you, so we have to try to get it, but I'll let you know about that stuff later when I make the video on the gun itself. But before we actually start the Destiny stuff, because there's a lot of it, um, let's go straight to the Battlefield Hardline news. Now... The beta for Hardline, the open beta, drops on the 3rd, which of the release of this video is tomorrow. Now, today, as the video is going up, if you're on the PC, you can preload the game on Origin to get it ready so you can play it. Me, personally, I hate preloading. It, it's horrible on any device. I just wish you could just go download the game, get it, and just get over with. I mean that because sometimes it's messed up, but I mean it, it's half and half. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Hopefully this beta will work. Please let it work. But guys, tomorrow is the beta. I will have tons of videos of Hardline. I did when I played it back when they first announced it during the closed beta. It was an amazing game. I enjoyed it. People said it wasn't that good. I enjoyed it, me personally, guys. And it was something fun um, and new to the Hard or Battlefield franchise. And it's something just to differ us from the war constantly. It's just something new. And it's good for the franchise. Franchise are smart about this, but um, that's how it is. So, guys, let's start right into the Destiny news. Now, I have the release date. Not official, but it's pretty much official from what's been leaked over the past week. I mean, some big stuff. And when I get to this Destiny news, guys, it's going to be some big, big stuff stuff now this is probably the biggest destiny leak ever and probably ever will be this is a big one i don't know how anyone got this stuff and one thing that even confirms it even more of what i'm about to tell you bungie has not come out and said nothing about anything they hasn't even mentioned it or well people's asked them about it and um it, it when, when, people, when devs do that they mean that's what do you call it they it's usually true and Almost every case, it's usually true. So let's just go right to it, guys. So the second DLC, or second expansion, the House of Wolves, I think that's what it's called. Yep, the House of Wolves. It is coming out on March the 10th. Now, this is not official, <laughs> you know, but this is the release date for the new DLC. It's actually in a great time. That should be the right thing, because when they announce something, they usually renounce it during that time frame so to me I do think this is really legit um, and when people have spoken to Bungie about this directly they have not said anything about it and that even confirms it really even more but March the 10th guys for the Dark Below expansion now this is from a ton, ton a ton of people um, from leaks this past week I'm not gonna go into names but it's just a lot of leaks guys about this date for the Dark Below expansion pack now, in this new um, DLC, Bungie themselves hasn't set a release date, but they have spoken about it. And they said this um, second expansion pack will be much better. There will be more stuff. Please, please let there be more story. Because there's only like three quests, I think, in a whole DLC pack. I mean, come on, guys. The first one, what you doing to me? What you doing to me? It was really the first one. It was disappointing in some areas, but I will not go into that. That's something else, but guys, March the 10th for the second DLC pack. Now, I'm going to go into something else. I'm not going to go into all of it, because they released this. They re Basically, what's been leaked this past week from a lot of people, from a lot of different things, all saying the same thing, is that they have a full list of the schedule of all the DLCs. Not an exact dates for the rest of them, but the names... And the time frame of which they will be released. Now, after the Dark Below expansion pack... I'm not the Dark Below, that's the first one. Wow, the House of Wolves. I gotta get used to saying that now. The House of Wolves, sometime in September of 2015, 
the huge, the um, the one year anniversary of Destiny, they said they're going to be releasing a huge, a major DLC. Now, this is going to be a big one. And when I mean that, guys, it's going to be like a full game. This DLC will include 13 story, or 12 story missions, a brand new raid, brand new playable area called the Hive Ship. As of now, it's probably not going to be the name, but that's where the location of it is going to be. And it's going to be two new weapon types and three new subclasses and tons and tons of new content. Now, this is going to be a major, major DLC. This one's going to be like the DLCs from, like, let's say if you play Red Dead Redemption or some GTA stuff. You got a big expansion pack. You know, you know what's going. You know what's going on. It's going to be a full story. It's going to be full stuff. So this is going to be very fun. I cannot wait to see what this is. Now, this is not the third or fourth expansion packs. This is not that. They even released that, and they said in March of 2016 they're going to release the third expansion pack, um, titled. Actually, wait, no, is it third? It is third. Okay, it is third. There's not much in it. It just says Vex. And the fourth one, it says the Forge of Gods, which is going to be about the Cabal. So there's going to go over each one of the races, but this is just, they're not no dates. They're just saying different time frames. March 2016 for the third one, and Summers of 2016 for the fourth and final one. Then they said at the end of 2016, they're going to announce the yeah. Destiny 2. So this actually sounds legit. And since Bungie has not spoken back about any of these things, it's, guys, it really does confirm it even more that it is legit. And from how many people has leaked this, it really does, um, it is, it's, and it sounds good. I mean, from what we know about DLCs, what we know about different things, this does sound a lot really legit. Um, so I can't wait to see what this is. I really hope... That it is true, because it sounds true. Everything about it is it just, it goes legitly. You know what I mean. But, um, so we just gotta wait, guys. We just gotta wait. And even if it ain't, I mean, it's still, that's a good time for March 10th. That sounds good to me. And if this DLC, this huge DLC, is true, then this is gonna be a big saver for Destiny. And I cannot wait to see what it does. And, um, see really how it develops. Because that, we need that. We need that bad. We need a huge DLC. And with this, that's going to be fun. Oh my goodness, that's going to be so much fun, guys. But, um, also, I am getting better. As you can tell, it's awesome. I know, I know. It is, it's it's amazing. I know. But, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I actually hope you're enjoying the um, Dying Light gameplay. Um, just running around doing stuff. Not much of nothing in that. Um, I already beat the game. An amazing game. Um, if you want a good or bad of it, here it is. It's good. Play the game. It's awesome. The zombies are 10 out of 10. Amazing. Um, voice animation still, it's, it's, you know, it's there, there, it's, I'm not really coming for that, I'm just saying the game, the zombies are perfect, um, parkour is perfect, graphics are amazing, so, go for it, guys. But, um, everyone, hope you enjoyed that, if you did, drop some likes down below, subscribe for more, get ready for that hardline beta, download that on PlayStation 4 if you want to play with me, um, and you know what, you know what? As always, this has been Too Bad 2, and I'll see you next time.